Hey loves, Kim here and I am back with another video. If this is your first time on my channel, I just would like to say welcome. Hi, my name is Kim. My channel name is Simply Nisi, and we are getting into part four of the luxury estate. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing and be sure to click that bell. That way you never miss an upload from me. And of course, to all of my OGs that's been here for a minute, thank you all so, so much for coming back. So <laughs> let's talk about this video. First and foremost, I had so much fun. Um, in this part, we are focusing on the pool house barbecue area. We're going to add in a hot spring and we're going to work on the garage. Super exciting. I feel like I've gotten a lot done in this part and I'm so excited to share it with you all. Another exciting thing. So I introduced a new element and I have been using the tool mod for this part. Um, mainly because there are just some really cool things that I want to do that we unfortunately can't do normally in the game. And I feel like the tool mod by Twisted Mexi is just such a powerful tool. Um, you can do so much. You can rotate, you can scale, you can raise up and down you can move multiple objects at once like it's and that's not even the half of it there's so much you can do you guys um there's plenty of tutorials if you want to learn a little bit more about it i will link the link <laughs> to the mod down in the description box if you are a builder um, or even if you um, don't do building i mean you can use it for posing your sims um, and your machinimas you can you know there's just so much you can do right so if you are interested period go ahead and check out my description box below um and yeah download it for yourself um, I say that to say so the tool mod very fun very steep learning curve <laughs> um, if you are good at math specifically like geometry I think the tool mod is going to be not a cakewalk but it's going to make a lot more sense in how things are measured because the tool mod works with things in three dimensions so if you are able to understand geometry and spatial awareness it's going to be a lot easier for you if not just keep going it will be a steep learning curve but you will get through it and i was able to do some amazing things and i hope you guys enjoy seeing it but anyway enough about that let's talk about this build so we are currently in the pool house and in the pool house i wanted to introduce a new color like we did in the casita we introduced green in the pool house i want to introduce blue blue because i feel like obviously like it's a pool house blue water but also i just i don't know i just had a vision of like blue counters and i was like yes we're going with that um and i feel like it would just go really really cute with like all of the wood tones and i had this chair in mind from the i think that chair is from tiny living if i'm not mistaken um but i just really wanted to tie in some blue and some wood tones and white and i just i don't know i wanted it to feel kind of like coastal like that was the vibe I was going for like coastal good vibes like clean fresh but like a little fun with that pop of color and you know I am playing around with texture I add in some wall panelings behind the TV similar to what I did in the last part if you haven't seen it check it out and you know what I will put the um, the playlist to all the videos in this um, series up on the screen so you can go ahead and check it out from the beginning if you haven't seen it already but I'm playing around with texture and trying to figure out what I want to do with the walls and um, just really make this room feel fun like this whole house is such a huge house and I feel like it would just be so good to like entertain um, have like huge family parties or family reunions uh, pool parties here would be epic so I just really wanted a pool house to match I am just staying with the blue theme by adding in some blue accessories with these towels from base game um, and I want to say that armoire that they're sitting on is also from the base game pack if I'm not mistaken but um yeah like the whole purpose of a pool house is to just have a place to like store your pool equipment your pool things we don't really have that for real in the sense 
gyms, but I thought it would be a nice place to have like an outdoor bar and like a little outdoor kitchen so you can easily entertain without constantly going in and out of the house, as well as somewhere to just have your little cheeky towels. And I don't know, it's just, it's just a vibe. It's, it's a vibe and I like it. Um, but anyway, um, back to the build. I, I love these little light switches. I just wish they were functional. Um, they don't need to be, but I love them. Um, so back to the tool mod. So I was telling you about like all the different things that the tool mods can do. And what I did, there's this piece that's in game. It's called 90 degrees from the get together pack. And what I'm doing right now, I have scaled it up larger and I'm moving it on this wall. And what I'm trying to achieve is just like this nice framing around the wood panel behind the TV to just get a little, a little bit more detail and break up the plain white wall um, with the texture brown wall. And <laughs> here's the learning curve, you guys. Like it took me forever to get to this point, um, but I really wanted to connect the ceiling with the wall and like for it to just be like this one big frame and just like this nice feature to like I don't know I just feel like details are so important especially when you're doing something like a luxury build like I feel like I don't know it just feels tailored it feels one of a kind and that's what I was going for and what I did off camera the piece that was behind the uh, TV wall I flipped it around so it's a seamless frame from the ceiling to the wall so if you guys choose to download this into your lot I hope that you guys um, really like all of the details and the thought that I put into this um, and I hope you guys really enjoy it um, but anyway I turned it to nighttime and I'm adding in some outdoor lighting I just decided to go with the same lights from the casita and it's at this point where I add on just a little bit more bulk to the building just because I don't know I felt like those lights look a little wimpy hanging off the edge of the building so similar to what I did to the casita I just added a little bit more bulk and then I will move the um, the lights all to the the pillars that I made opposed to how close they are to the doors also what I have been doing is slowly taking out the CC that I used initially when I made the shell I just been thinking about it and I just want this to be as easy and accessible for you all as possible so I have just been replacing CC and most notably the doors that were in here I replaced them with base game doors and windows and I think it looks just fine it looks just fine no complaints here playing around with this little light lifesaver and um, pool net because those are the only real pool tools that we have so I feel like I had to have it at the pool house and I just adjusted the roof a little bit and now I'm over at the barbecue area so um, I initially was gonna put the barbecue grill indoors but I thought you know what that's probably not safe so <laughs> I ended up moving it off to to the side next to the pool house and I really really love it and I want it to give a bit of cover so this little awning piece is from the desert Lux pack and I really like it because um, I just feel like it looks so appropriate um, for this house I feel like it's a little bespoke um, and I just I don't know it just looks kind of it I don't want to say primitive because that's not the word I'm looking for it just looks a little low-tech which I love because I feel like there's beauty and simplicity and there's so much value when um, you're able to make something that may seem very simple on the surface when you're able to make it look luxury I really really love when I see different designers do that and I was trying to convey that vibe let me know what you think about it but again playing around with the tool mod I adjusted the height of it and I'm playing around with the pillars as well and ultimately I really really like the way it came out I didn't want to do something like an umbrella not for this build like I wanted everything just to be clean and I wanted things to be a little bit more structural and 
and I'm trying my best not to fill things with needless clutter. Like I want it to feel lived in, but also I want it to feel just very clean and um, organized. So you may have saw, I just added in a sneaky little shower on the side of a pool house because like I mentioned before, I'm going to add in a hot spring. And if you ever play with the Sims 4 Snowy Escape Pack, if your Sims get in the hot spring and they have not showered recently, they're gonna dirty up the hot spring. It's gonna give that vibes like, so I just wanted a convenient shower for your Sims to hop into before they get in the on spring, uh, the onsen hot spring. Um, but yeah, I love this little detail. So I was looking at the, um, I was looking at the frame uh, where the TV is and I'm like, something's missing. Like I feel like because the walls are triple height, it was just so much space above the TV not being used. So I just added in these little fish hanging lights from the um, Sims 4 for rent. They come in three different heights. So I just stacked up one of each height um, and I, stack them all together and I think it's super cute and again I played around with the tool mod with that light and the ceiling fan just to kind of get them at the right height so they look like one functional object opposed to two things kind of smushed together it still kind of looks like two things smushed together but I'm happy with how it turned out so yeah I'm adding in the hot spring and I just decided to go with the more um, modern one I wasn't gonna do this at first because sometimes when you play The Sims, it's like, you know, like, as soon as you leave your lot, you're going to have to, like, encounter a loading screen, and that may or may not be quick. So sometimes we get stuck into wanting to include every single thing in our homes and like we don't explore the world. So I initially did not want to put in a hot spring for this reason, but I did it because initially I was trying to put in a hot tub and I wanted the hot tub to be at pool level. However, I didn't want to create like a dip in the ground for your Sims to be able to get in the pool. I'm mean, sorry, to get in the hot tub because as you know, the hot tub sits on the ground and where it's like a pool and a hot spring they sit into the ground so i decided to use the hot springs for that to kind of give like a hot tub vibe but you you'll get more benefits with the hot spring for one and then also the hot spring was the perfect size it was the same exact width of the pool so i didn't have to change anything there and it even had kind of like a rocky texture that um kind of blend in with the vibes that i had going on so I hope y'all enjoy it I think it worked out uh, let me know if you feel like it's too much um, but I feel like this is a, a luxury estate so whoever lives here can afford you know all of these things so yeah we move on to the garage and I absolutely love the way this came out so speaking again on the tool mob but before we get into this i just want to give so much thanks to god because let me tell you I was two plus hours into this portion. Um, you know, I did the pool house, saved it, stopped the video, came back, started the garage. Two plus hours in, our power goes out for literally two seconds. But, you know, my, my files corrupted. I couldn't use it. And, you know, I didn't get as angry as I thought I was going to get, but I was still very kind of like disappointed by that i mean when you're creating content you spend that type of time um uninterrupted doing something it hurts when you lose footage unexpectedly um but you know like i said i give thanks to god for one not losing my cool <laughs> because i i thought about it um but also for me being able to recover my footage um i was able to find a video online whereas honestly the old me just would have been like you know what I'm not doing this I'm tired this was like well after midnight so I started like nine something ten o'clock um, it was super late I had a long day um, I really did not feel like trying to record footage again and you know I was dealing with the tool mod and I, like I said it was just a huge learning curve so <laughs> that was very frustrating 
but you know fortunately I was able to recover the majority of the footage that I lost um, so what I will also do I will link down in the description box the video that I use that helped me to recover my footage it did take a while but I got it back and I have it to show to you guys most of it anyway so I'm just so grateful beyond grateful you guys you just don't even know um but anyway i completely talked over the garage um the part that got kind of missing was in the garage um you really didn't get to see a lot of what i did with those quote unquote brackets above the cars but i'll tell you what i use i use the drain pipes um the longest drain pipe from the base game i use a um light um that's hanging upside down i turned it upside down with the tool mod that was from the get to work pack i use the it's kind of like the overhead radio projector thing from the i want to say it's the perfect patio pack if it's not perfect patio it's the backyard stuff pack they're so similar you guys but it looks like a projector but it's really a speaker and then i also used a debug um bollard from the get together pack put that all together and did my best to make it look like brackets and i hope y'all enjoy you won't use your garage for cars but i hope if your sims do go in there you enjoy that amount of detail that i put in anyway let's talk about this gym because i love it so probably my favorite thing in the gym is what i just did while i was talking about the garage i integrated a tv into the mirror i feel like that's just so bougie it's so bougie and i really wanted to do that and i love it so again power of tool mod i was able to scale down that tv i moved it into the mirror um and it was a little bit of work but i got it done and it's functional and I love it and also in this garage space there is a little work area which you can see on the screen now I put a woodworking table in there because it's not like we can work on cars or anything in the sims 4 but I just wanted your sims to have reasons to actually use these spaces so I felt like the woodworking table was a functional item and it was close enough to what you would do in a garage if you don't like it feel free to change it but I, I think it works um, another thing about function I needed a little bathroom in here I you know I feel like it would be so inconvenient if your sims needed to go to the bathroom and had to go all the way back to the main house so this is just a little half bath it's only a sink and a toilet in here and that's really all you need um, and I just felt like it made sense for like a gym area you might need to wash your hands or like wipe down something same thing while you're woodworking so it makes sense now what I did in here I made the walls black I want to say those wall tiles that I'm using are from the spa day pack I think they are the Zentastic tiles. I really, really like them. And you know, people will tell you don't use dark colors in small rooms because it'll make it feel smaller. Look, the, the walls in here are triple height. Like it's not a small room. Yes, it's low key claustrophobic, but it's not a small room. And what I did to make the room feel not so closed in, I left the floor white. I like that bit of contrast and I feel like it opens up the floor space so you don't feel like you're in a cardboard box. Um, and you're not going to be in there long anyway so yeah here we are back in the gym and I really really love the way this came out I feel like this gym is a little snug however for the amount of equipment that I have in here and activities everything functions and everything functions simultaneously which was so important so you can have this in boxing bench pressing um, doing a workout video and on the treadmill and getting something out of the fridge at the same time and i love that because i hate routing errors in the sims 4 is so annoying so i really wanted this gym to be functional function 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 um and yeah so um again power tool mod i just got some of those shoes i sized them up to about what i think the sims that i'm play testing with um wear and that looks like a realistic scale to me um so yeah i just i just really really love the gym let me know if you guys enjoy the gym but that's probably like my favorite part um but yeah at this point i'm doing some exterior changes um and i will also change the color from white to black i feel like if any building was going to be the building with the contrast it's going to be the garage 
garage um, because it's literally the most detached from the house and I love the way it came out. But anyway, you guys, we are going to be coming up on screenshot soon. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. If you all enjoy this video, let me know with a big thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment down below. It truly helps me out so much and it lets me know what you guys are into and what you want to see more of. Also, if you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe and be sure to click that bell. That way you never miss an upload from me. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think about the progress so far. And if you haven't seen the other parts, go back, watch all the videos and let me know how you feel about things. But anyway, you guys, I'm hopping off here and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.